Here we are, the moment you all been waiting for. The 2018 Old School 200 here at Kannapolis Raceway from Kannapolis, North Carolina. The one classic summer race, the hottest race of the year. And as you can see, we're at the Kannapolis, North Carolina. North Carolina, the home of NASCAR, where the Hall of Fame is, the garage shops are, all that kind of cool stuff. And as you can see, here we got the number 24 Rainbow Warrior DuPont Chevy Monte Carlo's Jeff Gordon for Hendrick Motorsports. Starts on a pole after winning the first dual race. And then here we got the number 9 of Awesome Bill from Dawsonville, Million Dollar Bills. Bill Elliott starting second after winning the second dual race. And here we got Dale Earnhardt Jr., the number 8, where he grew up, just like the two other generations of the Earnhardt. The third generation of the Earnhardt starting sixth place. And he's looking for his very first old school 200 win for his local town fans. Ooh, excuse me there. And Ernie Irvin, you know he hadn't, he has not had much success at the old school 200, but this is his final race that he's attending to race before he calls it quits for this year. All right, let's get to your starting lineup. On our first row, we got Jeff Gordon and Bill Elliott. Row two, Ricky Rudd. I mean, Ricky Craven and Ryan Newman, excuse me. Row three, Jeff Byrne and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Row four, Jimmy McMurray and Tony Stewart. Row five, it is Ricky Rudd and Rusty Wallace. Row six, that is the 2015 Old School 200 winner, Mark Martin and Terry Lavani alongside. Row seven, it is the 2016 Old School 200 winner, Jimmy Johnson, with two time. Old school 200 winner from 2014 and last year, Johnny Benson. Row 8, we got Morgan Shepard, the oldest driver in the field, making his debut, and Ernie Irvin making his last start. Row 9, Jeff Bodine and Bobby Labonte on the final row. The fan vote we forgot to mention. The fan vote winners, thanks to you guys, Matt Kenseth and Wally Dollenbach. That is it for your pre race news and starting grids. Let's get to the commander start engines here at Kannapolis. Drivers, start your engines. Here we are, the moment we've been waiting for. The pace shark turns left. The 2018 Old School 200 is green. And Ricky Craven will lead the first lap as they're side by side already. Craven going, going at it as they're going to lead. Lap. Oh, trouble, Matt Kenseth. Wally Dolan back in Ernie Irvin. Terry Labonte's in it. Caution is out. While we were seeing the battle for the lead, on lap three, as you can see up on the screen when they go to turn one, looks like Ernie Evan was wide open and then he came down on Kenseth. Nowhere to go for Wally Dollenbach. Kenseth gets collected, so does Terry Lavani. The bad luck continues for Matt Kenseth at Kannapolis and Wally Dollenbach is done for the year. Ernie Evan is done as well. Here we go. Pace chart turns left, and we're going to complete seven laps out of 20. We're back in the way. Look at Bill Elliott making a three wide. He got second, but it goes Jeff Gordon battling for second with Bill Elliott. And Jeff Gordon will lead that lap as they're side by side. Here comes Bill Elliott in the middle of it as there's lap traffic, and they will put Mackenzie's lap down. Oh, contact is four wide. Holy cow, that was close. And there's contact between Jeff Boldine and Tony Stewart. Oh, and Stewart takes out Jeff Boldine. Caution's out once again, and that was not pretty. All right, so here's what happened. Looks like Jeff Woldine was catching on Tony Stewart. And he was fighting to stay on the lead lap. And they're side by side to stay on the lead lap. And Stewart was trying to race against him. And it looks like, oh, Woldine puts him up the track a little. Then once again, they were going at it once they caught the start finish line. Looks like Stewart tried to take him out. Bodine got him down, and Stewart had enough. He turned him. As Bodine goes for a weird spin. And that's how the caution came out. Tempers at Kannapolis. As pit stops are going on, do you choose two tires or four tires? I think we're mostly going to have a chance to see a four tire stop. As one more Bill Ali, he enters his pit box. Jeff Gordon in his pit box. Ricky Craven in his pit box. As everyone does their service. And Ryan Newman takes two tires. Everyone else takes four. What a surprise. 
Ryan Newman with two ties to lead the dive back to the green. And Jeff going belly. And Ricky Craven gets a great reach. The Newman is dropping instantly. And we got trouble. Down no Jr. and Bobby Labonte. Big crash. Caution is out. What a big crash for Bobby Labonte, the number 18. And Down Jr., as you can see, Bobby Labonte with big damage. She is done for this year. And as you can see, for Downer Jr., the local hero and a favorite coming into this race is done for this year. And it appears that Dale Jr. broke a front tire suspension. I'm pretty sure that's the cause of the crash. We will take a look at the replay of what happened. All right, so here's what happened. As you can see, Bobby Labonte and Dale Earnhardt Jr. were 6th and 7th at the time. As soon as Jr. was going to the front straightaway, he broke the front suspension, which causes... One of the tires to fall off, and Labonte had nowhere to go. He was he was the innocent bystander, and he had it to say, but then got into Junior. Hard crash. It looked like Junior was going to flip, but thank goodness he didn't. Thank goodness that uh, those drivers are okay. That was just a big crash for Junior and Labonte. As you can see, we're still under red flag situation with a clean up and turn one from Bobby Labonte. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s big crash. Luckily, they're okay, but sadly, they are done for this year. They'll have to try again next year. As you can see, we're in a red flag situation. They're the leaders, Bill Elliott, Ricky Rudd, and Jeff Gordon. They've been dominated all day long. Ryan Newman led one lap after taking a two-tire stop and dropped all the way to fifth. He only took two tires for a track position because the race is almost over. Can he make it back up there, be the surprise winner, or those three winners will win the race? And as you can see, there's a little... Talk going on between Jeff Wildine and Tony Stewart. Jeff Wildine was not happy when Tony Stewart took him out after all that contact. But NASCAR officials told him to get back in the car or there will be penalties. So he did get back in the car. And I don't know. Maybe they'll take over post race inspection. Who knows? But we all know that Jeff Wildine is not a happy camper after what happened with him and Tony Stewart. And the cleanup continues. So, thank goodness they're okay. Here we are, the first green white checkered. Bill Elliott will lead it down to the green. Jeff going with a great restart. Here comes Rusty Wallace. And Chubbo! Rusty Wallace and Bill Elliott. Oh, big crash. Rusty Wallace was upside down, up and over. Oh my goodness. Ryan Newman is involved too. Got a four car. Huge crash. This will be a red flag. Jeff Burns involved as well. Then you got Bill Elliott in the background. What a devastating crash for everybody. Bro, Elliott's in it too. He was so close on winning the big race. He's done for this year. And here we are. The red flag is out once again. Second red flag of the day. Just what a devastating crash that was for the four cars that were in it. Here's the replay. Bro, Elliott had a great run on the inside. Rusty Wells had a great run too. He was he was making a three wide and Bro, Elliott. Shut the door on Jeff Gordon, it looks like. Or Gordon backed off a little. And it looks like Wallace came up to Bill Elliott. There was a little contact entering turn three. That opened the door for Jeff Gordon. And it looks like the nine made contact with the two. And just, oh, man, what a hard hit that is. Look at that. Nowhere to go for Ryan Newman. Ricky Craven was so close to getting it. Look at Jeff Burton. Look at Rusty Wallace upside down. Another innocent bystander that had nothing to do with the battle. Looks like everybody's okay. There's Wallace back on four wheels. What a crash. As Ron Boyd with the pace truck. Pace truck turns left. Two laps to go. Second green white checker on the way. Here goes Ricky Rudd. Oh, there's side by side contact. Oh, we got a crash again. Jimmy Johnson. Mark Martin involved. Terry Labonte and Johnny Benson. There's Jimmy Johnson involved. What a crash he had with Mark Martin. Speed of Mark Martin. There he is. He's moving. I'm sure he's okay after that wild wreck with Jimmy. Terry Labonte's involved. And a two-time champion of the Old School 200, Johnny Benton, is also involved. What a wreck. And guess what? Once again, we're in another red flag situation. And after that, we will go to a third and final attempt at green-white checkered. Alright. This is just a case of hard racing with two laps before the finish. As you can see, there's Ricky Rudd and Jeff Gwynn. Look at them door slamming. Gwynn almost went off the track to the garage. Meanwhile, in the background, there was three wide between Johnson, Stewart, and Mark Martin. They both crash. And then Stewart escapes, but not so much for Mark Martin and Jimmy Johnson. Look at the hard hit inside pit wall. Johnson with a hard hit on top of the six of Mark Martin. 
Luckily, Tony Stewart avoids that. And no one to go for Johnny Benson and Terry Labonte. And then Matt Kenseth, Morgan Shepard, Jeff Woldine. They all avoid it. And Jeff Woldine's back on lead lap finally. Just what a wreck that was. It's been a crazy race, a wreck fest of a race. Nothing like this before. Here we go. Final attempt. Who will get it done? Green flag is out. Back straight away. They're trading paint. A three wide. Has it come off a three and four? White flag. One left to go. Here comes Ricky Rod doing the side job. They're beating the bag again off a three and four. Jeff Gordon has finally won the 2018 Old School 200. It has finally come true for Jeff Gordon. He has finally won at Kannapolis. How about that for the Rainbow Warrior? All right, here's what happened at the white flag. How we got this amazing finish. Looked like Gordon, Gordon Block Rudd. Then contact there. Then Rudd does the slide job. And Jeff Gordon does the crossover. They were being the bang at the back straight away. And then things got almost ugly at turn three and turn four. And then contact again. Rudd got spun out by Craven. And wow, that was just close. That is how Jeff Gorn won the 2018 Old School 200. Congratulations to Jeff Gorn, Hendrick Moore Sports, and the team Rainbow Warrior. Now they can finally celebrate after after five years. And Jeff Gorn is going to do his burnout after winning the 2018 Old School 200. There it is. Yeah. He's going to say hi to fans. He's going to go to Victory Lane. He's going to park it in Victory Lane. Congratulations to Jeff Gordon on winning the 2018 Old School 200. After being so close since 2014 and all those five races here at Kannapolis, Jeff Gordon in the number 24 DuPont Chevy Monte Carlo Rainbow Warrior for Hendrick Motorsports, starting on the pole after winning the first dual race, has finally won the 2018 Old School 200. It's been a long time coming. It's been worth the wait. So, how about that hard racing, folks? And congratulations to Jeff Gordon on finishing first here at Kannapolis for the first time ever. Here's the rest of the results. After a hard charge battle for the win, Ricky Rudd became so close once again to finish second. And one of the best drivers in Kannapolis, Ricky Craven, finishes third. Jamie McMurray finishes fourth. Tony Stewart finishes fifth. Morgan Shepard in his debut finishes sixth. And Matt Kenseth finishes seventh. Even though this is one of his worst tracks. And Jeff Fuldine, after being a lap down for most of the race, after Tony Stewart took him out, finishes eighth. And here's the result, rest of the results, but behind the wall. Jimmy Johnson, the 2016 winner, struggled all day. Got to the big crash, but manages to finish ninth. Mark Martin, the 2015 winner, finishes 10th. Johnny Benson, the two-time winner, finishes 11th. Terry Labonte finishes 12th. Ryan Newman finishes 13th. Bill Elliott, one of the drivers that was fast all day, finishes 14th after being caught up in that big crash. Jeff Burton, 15th. Rusty Wallace, 16th. Bobby Labonte, 17th. Dale Hunter Jr., 18th. Ernie Irvin, his last race, finishes 19th. And last place... It is Wally Dunlapack. And that is it for the 2018 Old School 200. The one classic summer race, the hottest race of the year, the hottest race of the year. I want to say thank you guys for watching this amazing race. And we'll see you guys next time. Here at Canal Plays, and we'll see you guys next time. Congratulations to Jeff Gordon. And we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.